going on everybody I'm out here on a little bit of a cold day so i'm bundled up sorry for a little weird but uh lots of layers keeps you warm so today guys i want to share a quick message with you that you know is hard for a lot of people to hear but uh may actually help you out in a, in a simple way and the the message is that people only know the version that you show them so this is encompassing a lot of things uh the person that you are is included in this so as you grow up, you usually are around the same people for long periods of time, and they develop a perception of you based on those extended exposures. They've seen you act and react in certain situations over and over, and that version of you is what gets stuck in their head. So when you go to change that perception, it becomes very difficult because they're basing it on what they saw in the past. So if you're trying to change and become better than what you were yesterday, if people aren't growing along with you, it's hard for them to accept the new version of you, right? And so when, when you make a change for you, you're aware of it, but not everybody else is. And trying to show them a new version, you have to have that extended experience. Hey, Carrie, what's up? We got Larlin on here, good to see you guys. But you have to change their perception over time by having extended exposures to the new version of you, right? And so the thing that was such an epiphany for me is I grew up in a small town. Um, it was cool because you got to know a lot of people and everybody was pretty tight or whatever, but you developed an image very quickly. And breaking that image was near impossible unless you remove yourself from the situation. And that's what I ended up doing. So when I got to the end of my, my 20s, I made a change and I moved from that town to another town. And immediately I was able to be looked at and accepted in different light by people who saw me for the first time because they only knew me for the version that they saw from me, which was from then forward. All right, so it can be very difficult if you are trying to make change in your world and get better. Uh, we're in the, the beginning of 2020. A lot of people got these New Year's resolutions, which are a different version of themselves. And we got Julie on here, good to see you. And making those changes can be difficult if you're surrounded by people who already have a previous conception of who you were, right? <laughs> They're basing their perception based on what you used to be and who you are about to become is different than that. And it's hard for a lot of people to accept that. And so you may experience some haters. You may have some people who don't want to accept the new version of you or whatever change you're making. Maybe it's something small, like you just got a new job and people, you know, thought that the image that you upheld before was based on the job you had before and now you got a new job you're not that same person it's difficult um, don't get discouraged yourself because other people don't want to accept a new version of you Michelle good to see you um, you want to make sure that when you are going after anything especially change it's difficult you're gonna struggle with it on your own you're gonna have to do things in your own world to convince yourself over and over to do it differently than how you used to but if you also got other people telling you that you can't do it or it's not you know gonna happen for you or you've never done it before so how are you gonna do it now or whatever whatever the hate they're throwing at you is understand you have to you have to separate yourself from that put a blind eye to it, whatever it is that you do to disconnect from that viewpoint because you have enough struggle to deal with on your own. You're going to be internally fighting yourself based on what you've already done up to this point and try and making a different thing happen for you tomorrow so you can improve, right? That's the name of the game. So the best thing you can do is get yourself into a situation as often as possible where people do not already have a version of you that they know. Okay, and this isn't always easy, like you can't always just move or whatever. But you can hang out with different people, you can go to different gyms, 
Maybe you need a different job. I don't know what it comes down to for you, but at the end of the day, the thing that made the most change for me where I accelerated my growth the most was when I surrounded myself with people who had no preconceived notion of who I was. And the version that I showed them was the only version that they knew of me. And so if you guys want to be different than you are today, you want to have something you don't have today. First of all, it takes different actions, but a lot of times it takes d different people around you so that you can reinvent yourself as something different than you were before. Because most of the time, people don't like change. Even if it's change for others, they don't like to see other people grow. They want to they wanna tell you that it's not possible. They want to have a negativity that comes out because they're not making the change. They're not doing things to improve themselves. Why would I support you in doing it, right? And that's, that's no bearing on how successful you're going to be. Hey, you like that, Carrie? All right, good stuff. So we're, ma we're making sure that when we set goals for ourselves and we're trying to do something to improve our situation, we don't get caught up in the words or the ideas of others. Like, you know, what you eat don't make me shit, right? Like, that's the thing. Whatever you're doing has no bearing on how my body works, right? If you work out or not, ain't gonna make me skinny. That's why I'm out here on this walk, right? I'm out here doing my thing, making sure I'm doing what I need to do. Even though it's cold, I got people, probably this guy, looking at me like I'm a weirdo because I got this thing up around my face and I had two hoods on and, you know, <laughs> whatever. I don't care because I have disconnected from that concept of other people's perception of me having an impact on how successful I'm going to be. And guys, I'm telling you, when you make this mental shift of not concerning yourself with the actions that you take based on what you think other people are going to say or think, man, you can start really taking charge of your own life. And at the end of the day, life is short. I just turned 37, so I'm not that old yet. But in the grand scheme of things, the average lifespan of a male is mid 80s if you're lucky. Man, I'm almost halfway there. <laughs> hey, Victor, my man, I haven't seen you in quite some time. So it's, it's important that like, you guys understand that your life is run by you. The decisions that you make and the actions you take on a daily basis, like daily, are what determines where you end up in life. What other people do has no bearing. What they say, what they think, what they write down or post on social media, irrelevant to how well you're going to do in your world in getting to where you want to be. So it starts with knowing where you want to go. What's your direction? And then just start taking action regardless of if you've done it before, if you've seen that people are supporting you in it or whatever, like that's not really the thing that needs to happen. Now, if you got some support, you can find some people who can back you up in that, man, then you can really accelerate growth. When you got a cheering section, believe me, you can make some things happen right? So if you have people that are around you, and believe me, they will be there. When you start to look at yourself and say, I can do better. Where I'm at is not where I want to end up. Yolanda, good to see you. We want to make sure that we're surrounding ourselves with as many people as possible who will cheer you on, right? There's enough hate and you know, negativity out in the world, but it takes one person one single person telling you it is possible to negate all the rest of the naysayers. And I've seen this, guys. I got, I got somebody in my corner. Man, Mr. Mr. Freeman, you know who you are. Um, this guy hits me up single every single day. Every day. Hey, what are you doing today? How are you moving forward on your goals, man? Like, <laughs> this guy almost wants my goals more than I do. But it's because I've been there and I supported him, right? And when you help other people and they help you, you create these bonds and this camaraderie and this support system that allows you to push through things that you would have never been able to really do on your own. Because guys, it's tough. I get it, you know? 
we're all trying to live life and we get caught up in things and it's easy to forget, oh yeah, I gotta do this and I gotta do this. And it takes repetitive action over time to create a routine and a habit that develops a better result, all right? I go for a walk today, I don't lose weight. I gotta do this over and over and over and over and over and over in order to get some results from it, okay? But if you got somebody to go for the walk with you, you're probably gonna go on more walks because you'll do more for somebody else than you will for yourself. You will be out here, oh man, good to see that, Victor. I appreciate you, man. It's, it, it's important that you surround yourself with people who are on the same path. And now believe me, you're gonna run into those that don't wanna see you succeed. They will actually go out of their way, and I call this negative effort, right? Where they will go out of their way to try and bring you down. Like, dude, if you just put that effort into yourself, you'd be doing a lot better in your world. Why would you spend that much effort trying to bring someone else down? It doesn't make any sense to me. So just know you're gonna run into those roadblocks and you can mitigate that, first of all, with your own mental strength, knowing where you're going and having a very clear direction in your head as to this is what I'm trying to accomplish. How you get there is not actually all that important. Taking the step today of what you think will get you there. That's the important part. Because if you take that same step tomorrow, that same step the next day, you're gonna figure out, am I going in the right direction? Like guys, have you ever tried to turn the steering wheel on a car that's parked? That is hard as hell. <laughs> but that car moving even like 0.1 miles an hour, super easy to turn the wheel. So adjusting the trajectory of something in motion is easy. Whereas if you're standing still and just trying to think yourself into action or whatever, like it's, it's really difficult to make things happen in your world, right? You gotta, you gotta get started, all right? So setting the goal, hey, Mrs. Holly, good to see you. Setting the goal is only important to inspire action. The rest of it is repetitious testing and adjustment. Nobody has a life path. There is no blueprint that they give you when you're born that says, here's the things that you got to do step by step by step by step. We're all out here making it up as we go. All right. So nobody in the world has any business telling you what you should or should not be doing as to what's important for you. You get that choice. And when you succumb to any negativity from other people, you're giving up that power to choose. You choose whether or not you pay attention to it. You choose whether or not you internalize that and think about it. If you post something on social media, hey, guess what, guys? I lost 20 pounds between Halloween and New Year's. And I have somebody that's like, oh, no, you didn't. That's stupid. Brian McCombs, my man. Look at that guy. I haven't seen you in a minute either. How you doing? So if you, if you put that up there and somebody says something bad about it, First of all, when they leave, after they post that thing, they hit enter, boom, it's out of their head. They forgot all about you because they're just going to continue scrolling on Facebook to find somebody else to be negative too. Because the way you do anything is how you do everything, right? And if you're out here throwing shade at one person because they're trying to be happy, that's all you're looking to do for everybody, right? So we want to make sure that... We, we, we brush off the haters. They're gonna be there. They're gonna have their own negative world and you can't change them. You're not a savior. You're a leader of your own world, right? So make sure that your goals are serious for you. You're on a clear path for where you wanna go and then find some other people, even if you got one, okay? I got some people watching this right now who know what I'm talking about. When you surround yourself with people who are there to support you, and tell you that you are good enough, you're smart enough, and gosh darn it, people like you. You know what I mean, that Stuart Smalley affirmations on the daily, <laughs> those are serious things. They sound really dumb in the moment, but when someone knows that those words come from a genuine place, the words are irrelevant. It's the feeling that is behind them that helps inspire you to continue to push forward. These are the things that you want to search for in your daily world. 
are how do I remove the negativity that's going to slow me down? How do I sharpen the clarity of what my goals are and what I'm trying to accomplish? And how can I find even one single person who's going to be in my corner, regardless of if I mess up, if I say the right words, whatever it may be, it's irrelevant. They're in my corner telling me, yep, yep, we're going to keep doing this. How you doing today? Where are you at with your goals? Let's take some action together. You get locked arms with somebody and you guys are going in the same direction. You can absolutely move mountains, not only for yourself, but for that other person. Because while they're on you, believe me, they need your support just as much. And even having one person in your corner can be all the difference that you need in order to make sure that you're continuously moving forward in progress. There is no end goal, guys. The version that you show people is only the version that you are now. I'm going to say that again. (laughs) The version you show people is only the version that you are now. And whether or not they accept your progress into a new version of yourself, whether that has hit you where you say, yes, I'm willing to to take these steps and I want to make some improvement in my world. Leave me a comment. Let me know what is helping you because that's why I do these. You know, I like to talk. If you know me, I like to talk, but I'm out here trying to have people understand that if my words can just allow one person to have the ability to change their mindset enough to even accept their own ability for change, I don't have to do that much. I don't have to move your legs and help you walk. I just have to show you by walking myself. Mandy Telleria, good to see you lady. I don't have to walk for you. I just have to show you that walking is beneficial and tell you that when you walk, it's gonna be a benefit for you. That support is what I'm looking to give out, all right? and so. If you guys have been on here for a minute, you guys are trying to make some change and improve yourself, uh, I'm gonna throw out a little offer for you. I'm 100% free, and I'm actually gonna be charging for this in the the future. Mark Yenser, there's my man. Man, we got a bunch of people coming on today. It's a good time of day. I'm gonna have to remember this. So, My offer for you guys is if you're in a situation where your health is not exactly where you want it to be, like, be honest. Maybe you wanna be a little bit healthier. Maybe you don't eat very well. Maybe you don't exercise enough. Maybe you don't drink water like you should. Maybe your mental state sucks. Maybe you're one of those people that you let that negativity get to you. You don't know what you really wanna do, but you're not satisfied with where you are. I'm gonna offer you guys a free thing, okay? And I'm only doing this, I actually have two people already set up for this and I'm only bringing 10. So I got eight more spots left if you guys want in on this but I'm starting a beta group on February 3rd. I'm gonna allow eight more people to get in on this and it's called the routine challenge. Really simple, but it's a, it's a forever thing. So this is long-term commitment. So I'm not looking for you guys to dabble. I don't do temporary, okay? We're gonna get in and we're gonna do some things, but it's small, it's microscopic things that you change in your daily world that allow you to improve your health, not only mentally, but physically, okay? And it's not like I'm trying to help anybody become a bodybuilder. My man Brian over there, that dude is a straight Spartan pro athlete. I was a personal trainer for a lot of years and I trained him in the gym for quite a bit of that. And uh, he's one of the hardest working dudes I've ever seen. Very few people are ever in that mode where they're trying to become a professional athlete. I understand that most people are just trying to not have their pants be so tight, right? Like that's a big deal. If you can go from a size six to a size five or whatever it may be for you, right? And so if you guys are interested and you wanna get in on some better health routine for the new year, the the rest of your life, honestly, like health is not temporary and time doesn't exist. So 
um, hit me up, let me know, leave me a comment below, send me a message, however you wanna reach out to me. If you don't, it's totally fine. I'm gonna keep doing me. <laughs> I'm very much in, in line with what I'm doing here, but, um, oh yeah, Holly knows. See, the people who already know about this kind of stuff from me, like, they get the value. But I don't wanna put too much of it out there yet because I want to make sure that I'm helping you guys. I know it works for me. And I can tell you it works for me because I just went through the toughest time of year. I went through holidays. So from Halloween to New Year's, the average person gains 15 pounds. I lost over 20. And it wasn't because I deprived myself. It wasn't because I'm really like killing myself or going to the gym. Like I actually barely go to the gym. I do simple stuff like this. I'm walking around. I'm talking to you guys. I got on a bunch of clothes. <laughs> Courtney, Makina, we got, man, we got a lot of people jumping in tonight. So if you guys wanna get in on some better health, hit me up, let me know. I'm gonna help you walk through this on a stage that is so small and so simple that it's not overwhelming. Because guys, if you try to set a New Year's resolution, you probably did the same thing last year and the year before and the year before that, right? And you kept telling yourself, oh, I know I need to do this. I know I need to do this. <sighs> That's a should. You know you should do this. But when you should, like you just continue to say that I should do this. Only when it becomes a must, when you have to do this, is most of the time when people take action. And in health, we take it for granted. We decide, oh, I don't feel that bad today, so I'm gonna eat this cheeseburger. And the last time you ate that cheeseburger, you didn't die, so you had this preconceived notion that if you eat a cheeseburger, nothing's gonna happen. Well, believe me, there's a microscopic change that happens. Melissa Ann, good to see you, ma'am. So making that choice based on what already happened isn't necessarily what's gonna happen because cheeseburger after cheeseburger after cheeseburger turns into another size of pants. And that's what we're trying to get away from, guys. So simple things, simple things like, don't eat the cheeseburger, have a salad. Yes, you're not gonna get the immediate result. Cheeseburger or salad today, you don't notice the change. One walk, this walk I'm doing right now, I'm actually going for a lot longer walk because I'm talking to so many of you guys are out here hanging out with me. It's awesome. But understanding that the compounded effect over time on a small scale, not the big stuff, you try to big picture yourself. Oh, I, I don't work out at all. But starting January 1st, I'm going to the gym five times a week. <laughs> Believe me, that will not happen. You might, you might force yourself. You might do it one week if you are like, dying because you're now pre-diabetic because you've eaten so much sugar for years. Maybe you're willing to commit, but that's because you're forced into it. It's not a choice. You have to do it. It's a must now, right? Kelly, good to see you. Uh, you, have to, you have to make incremental change over time to create a habit. Habits become the routines of your life, and that's what you get as a result of who you are. It doesn't happen. You didn't gain the weight overnight. You didn't, you know, make yourself, usually health is an easy one to bait, but you, it doesn't happen overnight. So you can't go one way or the other very quickly. It has to happen over time. So the things that I'm gonna show you guys in the system is very basic. It's like, drink water. Like you guys know you need to drink water. It's not like we don't know about water. But when I tell you a simple trick, like put an alarm on your phone that goes off every so often to tell you to drink the water, that's what's gonna allow you to actually remember to drink water. And once you do that enough times, you'll start to anticipate the alarm because you've programmed yourself to, oh yeah, I drink water now. Oh yeah, I drink water now. Oh, yeah, I drink water now. Eventually, the alarm just is there as the reminder that yes, I'm doing it not to do it, okay? So if you guys want in on this, let me know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help eight people. Uh, no, <laughs> one reached out to me. So I got seven left. 
If you guys want in on this, you want to make a better choice, a better health lifestyle for yourself, and you want to do it on a small scale that is something you can retain forever. Like health is not temporary, guys. I'm 37 right now, and I've been pretty healthy most of my life. I changed my job, and I changed my lifestyle, and my health went down. I had to get back on this, all right? So I want to share with you guys the things that have been successful for me that allowed me to lose 20 pounds from Halloween to New Year's and still enjoy all the holidays. I actually had Thanksgiving twice <laughs> in four hours, and I ate dessert at both of them and still lost weight, all right? So I want to share this with you guys. If you're interested, hit me up. If not, I really appreciate you hanging out. Like, this has really been a good time for me to be able to share some of my stuff with you. If you got some things you want to talk with me about and you don't want to put them out publicly, hit me up in Messenger. I'm good on that, and uh, we'll see you all next time.